I feel so vulnerable on YouTube and honestly for years now I've been so nervous every time I get on camera and it's affected my confidence and it's affected my ability to make content and that really is a shame because I like being able to share what I do and I've uh, I've resorted a lot more to creating content on Facebook where I don't have to like get up in front of the camera and I've done it a few times I've gotten on Facebook live a few times um, and working on other types of content but I, I just want to get over this hurdle and I want to get over uh, this fear of getting on YouTube and uh, I don't I don't think it's anyone specifically in the comments who made me start to feel uncomfortable being on YouTube um, I think it was like one specific big name bully that I had for a while who really scared the shit out of me and uh, made me feel uncomfortable shared some of my personal information like my legal information uh, online so that you know potentially other people could do things to hurt me or try to steal my identity if they wanted to do something along those lines which thankfully I asked them to take down immediately and they did and I didn't have any such problem but you know seeing the the animosity that I attracted and the types of people who really were willing to hurt me and um, I don't want to get into all of the details about it but yes they successfully did hurt me they they caused me a lot of trauma a lot of fear uh, it probably cost uh, me and anyone who watches my videos many many years worth of content that I could have potentially been creating on here and I just want to get to a point where I feel like this space is my own again and I feel comfortable making videos so I'm gonna make this video not to um, not, not to do anything specific other than trying to like just get myself to a point where I'm not scared and I'm not affected by this situation anymore and um, I just don't care and I, I want to be in a place where I'm so confident that no one else can hurt me and I'm not gonna let them do that and I'm not gonna let them get in my space and I know that that is uh, that's a psychological state because you know we're all we're all mortal and uh, in a way it's a, a spiritual state to set our own protective barriers and not let anybody else disempower us and that's what I've been for many many years now is disempowered you know because I had someone uh, talking so much crap about me through like what's that tumblr or whatever the journal blog thing that they were posting and through videos and who who knows what else they were saying that I didn't catch wind of and they were saying quite a few things that were not true at all but I just like avoided it because you know at, at first I didn't really care and I'm like you know I was I was feeling strong in the moment but eventually they pushed enough buttons that they started to find the buttons that did hurt me and the things that I did actually care about you know when they really started to threaten me and yeah I, I got to a point where I unfortunately let my bully or bullies mostly just one bully win and I'm sorry for that I am sorry to myself first and foremost um, I don't think it affected any of my viewers the same way it affected me you know like I'm not not trying to sound like I don't care about how you feel about me not making content but I don't think anyone out there was as devastated about me not making content as I was because this is my life and this is my purpose and it's it's my sad little rain cloud and my sad little pity party that has prevented me from making content and you know this stuff that's always in the back of my head every time I turn on the content like how how is someone gonna find a way to like misinterpret this and use it against me and try to you know say bad things about me like what leverage am I giving them and being scared all the time and I don't want to be scared anymore you know I see a lot of people go through things similar to what I'm going through and it's so much easier to tell them uh, that they need to not let it bother them and they, they need to be strong and that they are strong and you know to overcome it and I'm over here letting myself be victimized in such a way that I don't want to I want to just break out of that shell I want to punch right through it um, I'm not gonna do anything to try to hurt anyone else but you know 
if if you my bully are watching this and you on your own time you know if you know that i'm talking about you then that says something about you okay it's like i didn't use your name i didn't use anything like if you know that i'm talking about you then that's something for you to deal with i didn't say your name i didn't say anything okay so um yeah i uh i have made so many efforts to end this mostly by ignoring it and by burying it and i've had people tell me that i should speak up i should tell my side of the story and it, it even kind of sounded like they were right but i couldn't bring myself to actually do it and i just wanted to bury it so bad and i just wanted to ignore it and pretend it wasn't there and you know there's certain types of issues that i'm good at facing head on and certain types of issues that i am not good at facing head on and i think we're all like that we have things that we're good at dealing with and then we have things that we aren't good at dealing with. And this really fell under the umbrella of something that I'm not good at dealing with. And um, yeah, if, if someone wants to say things to hurt me and even years and years after whatever has passed, they still wanna say things to hurt me, like that is on them. And I'm gonna leave that on them. I'm, I'm boxing it off. That's for you, that's your gift to yourself if you wanna be mean towards me you can keep that anger to yourself i'm not accepting it anymore okay <laughs> so let's try to get back to making content <laughs>